Welcome back to Expert Tips. I'm Mike Wang, Gameplay Director for NBA 2K. And today, let's talk about what's new with shooting in NBA 2K22. Sports welcomes you to the following presentation of the NBA. Welcome to this Thursday night in the NBA, right here on 2K Sports. Our broadcast team tonight, on one side, Greg Anthony. On the other side, Steve Smith. And on the sideline, David Aldridge. I'm Kevin Harlan. We've got the Seattle Supersonics facing the Dallas Mavericks. Tip-off goes to Seattle. Now let's take a look at the Sonics opening lineup. Sean Kemp is out there with Shrimp. Then it's Gary Payton. Then it's Hershey Hawkins. And it's O'Neal in at the three spot. Pass to finish Smith. Here's Chris. Jigs outside. Outside Hardaway. Just five on the clock. For three. Rebound, Peyton. Pass to Kemp. That's in. Coming off an assist from Peyton. You have to love the approach Peyton takes to the game. An exceptional passer who does a great job with distributing the basketball. Now, here's Doncic, and it's Chris in the corner. No good on the three. Okay, that's frustrating. You work hard to get these open looks. You know he liked that one back. Basket is good. He'll get a chance for one more at the line. That's his first personal foul. That's going to send Gary Payton to the line. Shooting for the it's on Luka Doncic. Gary Seattle Payton. shooting their first free throw attempt on the night. Payton, a super vocal guy, constantly talking up a storm, always trying to get into the heads of the opposition. Now, here's Doncic. The pass to Kleba. Hands it from downtown. And they don't want to get in a habit of giving him open looks from three. First quarter still, but not who you want to leave open. Payton kicks to O'Neal. Fires for three. The jumper buried by the Hawk. Hershey Hawkins. A lot of enthusiasm to the start of this game. So far, a perfect four for four. And they double up Doncic. Chris, another three for Dallas. Both teams running perimeter-oriented plays that are working. How often do we see this these days? Clubs answering each other from range. Here is Hawkins. And then Kemp slams it in. Yeah, once he gets to the rim, it, it's lights out. Kemp, just too much power and explosive. And so Doncic will bring it up for Dallas. They trail by six. Tough loss coming against the Rockets in the last game they played. And they brought the energy. I thought played well, but both teams really put on a great show. Unfortunately... Someone had to lose. Nothing to hang their heads over. When you have two evenly matched teams on a given night, it's anyone's ball game. Seattle leading by four. Payton drives in. Payton makes another fantastic move. And how about the quickness? On display there for Peyton, especially when he's slicing to the basket. And so it's Doncic with it. He brings it up for the Mavericks. Passes it to Kleba. A three ball. Good. And the assist goes to Doncic. Kleba's got six. Aside from the rim runners in this league, most bigs are now asked to help stretch the floor. Right side, Kemp. Kicks it out to Hawkins. Trying to answer back, but that three is off the mark. 
Doncic against Tatum. Doncic outside from 11 feet away. It's hauled in by the Sonics. And we're just over three and a half minutes into the first quarter. And it's blocked. Kleba, the pass to Doncic. Hardaway kicks to Finney Smith. Here's Kleba. Rebounded by Kemp. Sonics leading by three. Hawkins passes to O'Neal. That's his second personal foul. And what do you guys think so far about the offensive approach for the Super Sonics? Their passing has been excellent here early. A lot of their baskets coming off and insists. That should set a great tone for the rest of the game. And also, it's been a positive to watch that they've attacked the paint offensively as well. It's really been about the balance that they've shown. Dallas making a switch here. Burks has checked in. Chris finds Kleba. Outside Hardaway. Over Hawkins. They grab their own miss. Kleba. And block. That one goes careening off the glass. They shoot again. And the layup is good. Eight points for him. And he is really in a zone right now. Playing and scoring with confidence. And the basket by Shrimp. And there's a pattern starting to take shape here. They're working it inside and getting good shots from close range. To the paint. And he jams it with a... just <laughs> ridiculous. I do not remember the last time I saw a dunk like that in a game. On a Ray TNT 5G Slam Cam, you just saw an explosive highlight. Hayden with the ball. Five points in the game. Here's Hawkins. Second chance shot. And Kemp puts it in. Kemp's got eight points. And they're forcing the ball inside, and it's working like a charm. Now, here's Burke. He's guarded closely. And he gets the whistle for the three-second call. And a chance now to see how teams are faring across the league. Here's the latest edition of the Power Rankings. You look at the Wizards. They've achieved some upward momentum, climbing to the fifth spot on the board. And when you check out the Supersonics, they know what they're capable of. Uh, they have the talent to be a much better team than they've shown, but the execution has got to improve. Now, here's Burke after the miss from Gary Payton. Burke with it. O'Neal's there. Good for the basket. Starting off one for one with that shot. And their post play has been really solid right off the bat. Here's Hawkins. Here's Kemp. And he elevates for the slam dunk. Marquise Chris did not like that. The ultimate man-child. Kemp, one of the most flamboyant finishers in our league. Mavericks trail by five. And it'll be the Mavericks with their first time out here of the game. You gotta like what Sean Kemp has done in this game. You know, he's been a one-man wrecking crew down low. His consistent scoring has dictated the pace of this game. We'll see if they decide to front him bring a quick double, or maybe even both to try to slow him down. Richards is checked in, and McMillan subbed in for O'Neal. It's intercepted. Here's Kemp, and he banks in the lane. Kemp's got 12. And the story here, Kevin, early on is how well they shot the basketball. Burke, the pass to Chris. Here's Finney Smith. He's guarded by McMillan. 
It's tipped. Hardaway kicks to Finney Smith. Five on the clock. There's the three. The rebound by Richard. I mean, all period, it's been a struggle for him scoring the ball. Out of bounds, it'll be Maverick's ball. An outstanding defensive play to earn the mobile one block. And big defensive plays like that will help them stay in control of this one. Kleba finds Burke. Pass to Chris. It's good. This is that time from Burke. He has five. And this is where Chris does a considerable amount of damage. Feels comfortable taking those interior shots. Now here's Kemp. He's got 12. Some nice ball movement here by Seattle. Here's McMillan. And a miss there on the triple. And it's Burke with the ball for Dallas. It's a five-point game. Finney Smith can't get it to go. Peyton in the corner. Asks to McMillan. And here's Hawkins. Peyton outside. Fires from deep. Kleba with the rebound. Kleba's got six rebounds now in the game. And here's Burke. Here's Chris. Makes it off the glass. Now it's just a three-point sonic lead. Seattle with the ball to the inside. And then Kemp slams it in. Oh, taking it to the rack with power. Hammering down the two-hand slam. Two minutes remaining in the first. Kirk looking over the floor. Kemp with the steal. And here we go. Fast break. Peyton's got it. Here's Hawkins. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. Yeah, just trying to anticipate Hawkins' next move there. The defender gets caught a little out of position. We're seeing... They have gone three for three at the line tonight. And so Hawkins drills both of them. I'll tell you, he doesn't give points away. Excellent job from the line. Her kicks to Chris. The pass to Kleba. Now here's Burke. Offline with his three. And he didn't punish them for the weak coverage there, but they can't count on him to continue missing. Richards. Another shot. Pops in the layup for two. Richards. And the Sonics lead by nine. They are just killing them on the interior. Now here's Burke, covered by Peyton. Chris pass to Burke. Here's Finney Smith. Side Hardaway. That's out of bounds. The Mavericks able to retain possession here. Andre Robertson is to in for Hawkins. Andre Robertson. Here's Hardaway. And he makes that one. Moving it around. Eight of the last ten coming off the six. There's 53 seconds left in the first quarter. Passes to Robertson. Here's Richards. Covered by Chris. It's rebounded by Dallas. Kleber's got his seventh rebound here tonight. Here's Burke. To Hardaway beyond the arc. That one falls coming off Burke's feet. Burke's got his third assist on the night. And guarding him on the perimeter isn't a priority for them right now, but if this continues, it will be. 
Schultz. Dwight Powell's checked in for the Mavericks. Now Hardaway, he's got seven. And the last shot before the buzzer is off. No shortage of scoring here at the end of the first quarter. Seattle ahead, they lead by four. And we'll get going after this from the American Airlines Center. And hope you've enjoyed the broadcast so far, halfway through the first half in this one. And let's quickly break down the game we've seen from Seattle. Guys? Hey, why take jump shots when you can get your points at the rim? Especially at the start. You want to get something positive going and establish your rhythm. On the floor for Seattle, we've got Sean Kemp. Gary Payton is out there with Andre Robertson. Then it's Shrimp, and it's Richards in its center, locking down the middle. I mean, you won't see this too often. Getting denied at the rim, he's likely to remember that one. Marvelous lead pass, and he throws it down. Incredible reverse throwdown. Excellent body control. And guys, I'd even go as far to say that was a punctuation dunk. Now, here's Burke. The hoop. That's basket number two with his third shot off to a fast two for three. That's a well timed, well coordinated play. Comes right off the pick for the lay in. Howell against Peyton. It's tipped. Here's Kemp. In it goes for the eighth time in ten tries. Not a lot of resistance on the inside, and they're taking full advantage. And so Doncic will bring it up for the Mavericks. They trail by six. Shoots from 14. Again, the Mavericks score. challenge for Doncic. He has rapidly become one of the best three-level scorers in the game. Now here's Kemp. He's got 16. A minute and a half gone here in the second quarter. Another three for Dallas. This is why you're trying to get him as many touches as possible. He's got the deck. To the middle. Burke heading to the hoop. Good. And the assist goes to Doncic. Doncic has got four assists in the game. A playmaker of Doncic's talents wasn't missing that gap. He quickly gets the ball to the wide open man. Timeout is called. First of the game for the Supersonics. And Coach can't like what he's seeing, trying to get them refocused. It's so easy to get run over when you lose even a little edge. Look for them to come out much more aggressive.
Parsons checked in for Seattle. McMillan comes in for Robertson. Nate McMillan. The Sonics trailing. Peyton passes to Kemp. And nothing is falling for him right now. Now the Mavericks with it. Their offense has been great here. Yeah, the ball movement has been terrific. And they've kept the defense off balance. The three for Dungeon. And it's Seattle with the rebound. Richards got four rebounds in this game. Here's Kemp. It's deflected. Up top, Doncic. He's covered by McMillan. It's blocked. They get it back. Here's Peyton. And he drives in. Got it. And he's now three for five from the field. Great timing. That can be the difference between an assist and a turnover. Now here's Burke. He's tightly guarded. Six on the shot clock. Pass to Doncic. Shot from the wing. It's good. Doncic has got the lead up to one now for Dallas. Coming off a scoreless first quarter, he's found a little rhythm here. Kemp passes to McMillan. Ferguson kicks to Payton. Pass to Ferguson. Tries a three. That shot off, and the Mavericks going the other way. Here's Burke. Good. And the assist goes to Doncic. Now it's a four-point Maverick lead. Looking to make plays for others. We've seen this from him all night. There has been an emphasis on ball movement, and he's been a major catalyst. All right, let's catch up with our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. Thank you, Kevin. Christoph Brzingis is returning to form after his knee surgery. He says, making sure it's strong and stable is non-stop work. But I'm feeling better, and I have confidence that I can go out there and play freely. His offense has been great. It's the defensive end, and he's still getting right. Guys? Well, we know he can be a presence yeah. DA, and I think eventually he's going to be what he wants to be. Thank you. And the best of pop. Always done with it. Passes it to Burke. Doncic with it. Three-pointer. Another three for Dallas. Yeah, they're relying on their three-point shooting and getting pretty good results. Peyton drives in. Looks good. Is good. Bucket number four from the field. He's taken only six shots. So good at the rim. A slow defensive rotation leads to the easy lay. Now, here's Doncic. 10 points for him. Baseline jumper. Again, the Mavericks score. Yeah, it just seems like the more he touches it, the more the lead grows. Here's Kemp. That shot misses. Great D that time from Powell. On the wing, Doncic. He's got 12. No good there with the step back J. Pass to Ferguson. Trying his work from deep. It's rebounded by Dallas. Burke with it. He's got nine. It's deflected. And pushing it up. Here's Seattle. Here's McMillan. Peyton trying to get open. Shot is good. And the Mavericks lead is cut to just one on the basket from McMillan. Millen. And here is Burke. Pass to Finney Smith. A floater. Missile blows. Bucket is good. He'll have a chance at the line to make it a three-point play. That's nice work. Stopping short of the rim. 
just laying it over the top. Maxi Kleba, he's checked in for Cauley Stein. And Seattle also making a change. O'Neal's checked in for Terrence Ferguson. Shot is good, and the Mavericks lead is cut down to just Assistant. two points with the bucket from Payton. That's a nice read. The value of keeping your eyes up. There's the pass to Pop. To the left wing. Burke, the pass to Kleba. Kemp with the rebound. Unusual for him, just a lack of concentration. Fails to finish the play. Here's McMillan. And no good. Had a chance to take the lead there. And so Doncic will bring it up for the Dallas Mavericks. Thirteen feet away. Tries again. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. That's his first nice work first to get it inside. And a chance and for just for a Dallas. second to check out the Dwight scoring Dallas. breakdown for Dallas. Their passing has been excellent here early. A lot of their baskets coming off an assist. That should set a great tone for the rest of the game. And also, they've gotten the three-pointer to fall tonight as well. That's equally as important. Inside. Kemp can't hit. Dallas leading by three. Her kicks to Kleba. The alley oop up very well done. And that log came from a mile away, and it was right on the money. Talk about a long-distance connection. Now here's Kemp. 18 points for him. And Kemp slams it in. Talking about putting some extra on it. That dunk was way over the top. Close game or not, he's going to finish firm when he gets the space. Here's Doncic after the basket by Seattle. Into the lane. Passes it to Hardaway. Here's Pop. Clock at four. Back to Doncic. And the dunk by Doncic. A great disruptor of the basketball. Luka taking matters into his own hands tonight. Great to see him play like this. That's in. The Dallas lead is cut down now to just three on the basket from Gary Payton. Building off a solid first quarter. He's been lights out here in the second. Basket counts. Hurts got 11 points. Adding to this lead, he's been dependable and consistent at the offensive end. Richards passes to O'Neal. We've got 123 left to play in the first half. McMillan against Doncic. McMillan kicks to Kemp. Out to Payton. Let's it go from deep. Count that as his seventh field goal. Nine tries. Three points. He's shooting 78%. They're still behind, but not because of his efforts. He's been unbelievable this quarter. Outside Hardaway. Down low. Here's Kleba. And goaltending is going to be the call. So they get the basket there anyway. That's a tough call for the ref to make there. I'm not sure it was on the way down, but that's that's how they saw it. 52 seconds left to play here in the second quarter. Peyton passes to Kemp, and it's Kemp with the jam. Oh, an aggressive move and fantastic finish. Mm, trying to send a message with that slam, I think. There's 45 seconds left in the first half. McMillan against Doncic. Pass to Kleba. The three. Here's Powell. And it's denied. And the rebound battle split evenly thus far. Here's McMillan. That's in. Coming off an assist from Peyton. Assisted by. Peyton's got nine assists now tonight. And guys, they continue to put a lot of pressure on the interior defenders with their work down low. Now, Doncic, 14 points for him. Pocket six, and there's the drive. Off the left rim and out. And the whistle blows on the backcourt violation. He went over and back.
That shot off the mark. It's been all about Luka Doncic for the Dallas Mavericks. Setting up teammates and getting buckets. He is looking as determined as ever. We'll get right back to the action when we return. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hello, basketball fans. What a pleasure it is to bring you into the 2K studios again. Ernie Johnson, Shaquille O'Neal, Kenny the Jet Smith. The first quarter for the Mavericks was fairly even. Their field goal percentage was a robust 50% in the period. That's something they can hang their hat on. They were slightly better in the second. Not a big difference between these two teams. And from what we saw so far from the Mavericks, Kenny, what's your takeaway? Defense scoring has been a big key for them. They came in with energy, and they were able to give the starters a real break because of the way they performed. That's the kind of production every team hopes to have from their second team. And Shaq, let's get your input on the visiting team. I like how they're working the ball on that low and finding the easy looks. Uh, they may be tempted to switch things up in the second half, but I say stick with it. Force the other team to adjust to the way you play. That's all for now. And we're halfway through this one. Plenty of basketball left in a game that's been fairly even so far. A fantastic game from Sean Kemp in this one. Yeah, and early on, he has been feasting in the pain. And, and you have to think they're going to keep feeding the big fella. Why go away from something that's working? Force the defense to prove that they can stop it. Underway on the wing, along with Vinny Smith. Maxi Kleba is out there with Chris, and it's Doncic in at the point guard position. That's the five to begin the second half for Jason Kidd. And the defense to start that play was terrific. I love the fact that they attacked early in the shot clock. The Mavericks trailing. Now, here's Doncic. Unloads from 13, and it's wide right. It's off the rim. O'Neal passes to McMillan. Some nice ball movement here by Seattle. And the three off target. And so Doncic will bring it up for Dallas. Pass to Chris. Hardaway trying to free himself up. Out to Doncic. Stolen by O'Neal. And here we go. Fast break. Peyton's got it. And the shot goes in. Now it's a four-point Seattle lead. That's their third straight make off an assist. Hardaway with a wide open look. Misses the three. Ooh, they've come out of ice cold to start this half. Three misses and as many attempts. The shot by Peyton, no good. Dallas with the ball. First and a half of basketball here in the third quarter. That was the first make of the half. One for four now. Let's see if that gets them going. Peyton passes to McMillan. And here's Kemp. Leave it defending. Kemp with the emphatic one-hand jam. Oh, just solid on the one-handed slam. And guys, when it's a tight ball game like this, he's the guy they want with the ball. Guys, they're looking for a way to score here. Yeah, they've had a tough time taking the lid off. Out to the right wing. They get a hand on it. Back to Hardaway. Shot clock at six. Off target from three-point range. Yeah, the offense scuffling a bit to start this second half. Only one for the first five. And then Kim slams it in. He's going to put that one in his scrapbook. Insane dunk. And now they're starting to rub it in. Build up a lead, and here we go. Maybe it is showtime. We have got to see that sensational mobile one block again. Timeout, timeout. Time Sharp Charles. instincts Good on D there. Just timing. When to rise up and swat that one away. And the Mavericks call time here. Yeah, just looking to tighten up their defense in the paint. They've got to be better. It's a matter of want to. Helping out, contesting shots. You have to want to make the effort. Chris pass to Penny Smith. Offside Hardaway. Go. 
looking to end its cold spell. Second chance effort. And pushing it up is Seattle. Payton with the ball. Hardaway against O'Neal. Kleba, the pass to Doncic. Goes back up. That one, no good. O'Neal with the defensive effort. And there's the pass to Kemp. With the second effort, banked in off the glass. Kemp's got six in the quarter. Every time they get scored on during this run, it's come from inside the paint. Chris, and it's blocked. That's out of bounds. The Mavericks able to retain possession here. And now, let's revisit that exceptional mobile one block. And this is how you protect and grow a lead by making a huge effort on that end of the floor. And the Mavericks making a change here. Marjanovic has checked in. Third quarter of basketball here in just a little under three and a half minutes gone by. Here's Doncic. Offensive rebound. Here's Finney Smith. That one off the back iron and out. I'm not sure the defense affected that shot. That was just a blown gimme. No good from Payton. Average trail by eight. Doncic looking it over. He kicks to Hardaway. Down to five on the shot clock. Over McMillan. Dallas, no good that time either. You're not going to see that very often. Plenty of space, but he just, let's face it, he whiffs on that. Here's Peyton. Count the bucket. And he's got a free throw coming up as well. That's his third point. Yeah, outstanding job there of taking the harm and still able to finish. And taking a quick look here at the hustle stats for the Supersonics. Contested shots and block shots. That's been their bread and butter defensively, giving up no easy looks. And also, guys, they take a lot of pride in their ability to rebound the basketball, especially on the offensive end. Now, here's Doncic. He's got 14. Pass to Hardaway. To stop the trout, Green for two points. Hardaway has got 11. Sonics leading by nine. Inside, here's Richards. And he takes that one up and powers it through. And how about breaking out the Statue of Liberty on that dunk? <laughs> a nice way to pad that lead a little more. You're right. Finney Smith kicks to Doncic. Pass to Hardaway. And now, here's Chris. Not a lot of room. Here's Marjanovic. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the foot. throw line. That's his first throw clearly throw a foul. First the Mavericks have foul. made two of their previous three free throws in today's game. Aaron Baines is checked in for Seattle. Shrimp comes in for Sean Kemp. Both shots good from the strike. You know, Steve, we've seen a few times in recent years in Cleveland and Indiana, for example, a new coach gets fired in year one. Yes, Kevin, losing a locker room can do that to you. It's embarrassing for those teams. When you know it's not working, you better not delay the inevitable. And so here is Dallas. The Sonics getting the bucket. Marjanovic passes to Finney Smith. Dallas moving it around. Shot left block. No good. Shot missing. Seattle goes the other way with it. And the stroke definitely lacking confidence this quarter. Nothing on target. And it's Baines missing. 
Mavericks trail by 11. Donchich outside. And that one off the back of the rim and in. 16 points for him. Getting only one of five this quarter. He's in a little bit of a slump. But it looks like he's trying to shoot his way out of it. Back to Payton. Over Hardaway. The shot by Payton. No good. And so Doncic will bring it up for Dallas. Hardaway goes in. And then Hardaway with the dunk. And way to finish and cut into that lead a little bit. Yeah, but look at the, ba the basket, guys. Still shaking. McMillan passes to O'Neal. Here's McMillan. Now Payton, guarded by Hardaway. Goes up the baseline. The shot by Payton, no good. Pass to Chris. Outside Hardaway. The three for Dungeon. It's hauled in by the Sonics. Payton's got four rebounds in this game. Hard to catch up when you can't hit shots. This is a quarter he likes. to forget. Second I mean, that's five. a tough break for the D. Second I mean, he took the hit the and drew the whistle. Wow, he's jacked in for the Mavericks. Burke comes in for Dorian Finney-Smith. Hasn't been able to dial it in from distance. He has just the one three. That was in the first half. Second team foul. Coming over to the floor for the away team. Sean Kidd. Mavericks drilled by seven. Doncic right side. And stolen by Peyton. And pushing it up. Here's Seattle. Here's Kemp. And the rejection by Marjanovic. McMillan against Doncic. Powell dishes to Burke. Kicks to Doncic. Here's Powell. It's good. The assist that time from Burke. Burke's got six assists in the game. Important points there. Got him on a nice play. Away Getting the ball inside and right yeah. to the bucket. That's his second personal foul. Third team foul. Powell, the pass to Burke. to Powell. Out to Hardaway. Two minutes remaining in the third. Two minutes. The three for Doncic. Hits it from three-point range. Doncic has got 19 points. The ball movement on this run has been fantastic and is a big part of why they've been able to get these good looks. A minute 42 left here in the third quarter. Now, here's Burke, covered by Peyton. Here's Powell. He can't hit that time. O'Neal with the defensive effort. Here's Kemp, and a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. And this is the guy, Sean Kemp. All the talent in the world could be a perennial double-double machine. Just a matter of staying focused. Second free throw, no good. Away team foul. D.J. Elliott. That's his first personal foul. Fourth team foul. Mavericks trail by four. Donchick's outside. To the left side wing. Now, here's Burke. Covered by Peyton. Hardaway for three. It's good. The assist that time from Burke. Burke's got his seventh assist in the game. Defensively, a breakdown along the perimeter. Just too slow to rotate. Now here's Peyton. Three points in the game. And the shot goes in. 
I mean, he is tearing the defense apart. And let's face it, they have not brought their A game on that side of the ball. This will be his third free throw. shot of the game. Gary Billy Cauley-Stein, he's checked in for Dallas. Won. It's a neck-and-neck -neck game here in Dallas. Now, here's Burke. He's guarded closer. Here, the three-point line. It's Doncic, and it's good off the back of the rim and in. Doncic has got 21. And, and guys, the intelligence is evident. When, when the pick comes, Doncic often Gary makes Payton. the right read. They have leaned on him all quarter, and it has worked to perfection. We've got a nine-second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. The pass to Burke. Doncic outside. Holly Stein laid in with a nice touch off the glass. Nice work inside by Carly Stein. Great tools as a finisher. Donchich outside. For the tie. And oh boy, all the contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot too. Sean Kemp picks one up right there. It's his first trip to the line. And the free throw line was a problem spot for him in their last game. Really struggled up there. One drops, he ties it up. And it feels like Doncic has risen to stardom so fast. His drive to be an all-time great is very evident. At the end of the third, the score is all even. Both teams absolutely filling it up. And we'll get going after this from the American Airlines Center. In a moment now as we take a look at our State Farm assists of the game. Yeah, an easy choice tonight. Look at the precision on this pass. Put it on a platter form. This is why you preach teamwork. Some of the most spectacular plays are the ones where guys are feeding off one another. And I know I speak for all of us when I say I can't wait to see what kind of finish awaits us here in the fourth quarter on the floor for Seattle. We've got Gary Payton. O'Neal is out there with Kemp. Then there's McMillan. And it's Richards in at the five. Down low. Assisted, Nate McMillan. And so it's Doncic with it. He brings it up for Dallas. Outside Hardaway. Good. And the assist goes to Doncic. Doncic has got 10 assists here tonight. So active. Rosonic's trailing. Here's McMillan. Passes it to O'Neal. Some nice ball movement here by Seattle. Here's Richards. Cauley Stein defending. Kemp can't hit. Away team foul. Shut up, Kemp. That's his fourth personal foul. First team foul. Dallas with the ball. Doncic finds Burke. On the wing, Doncic. He's guarded by McMillan, and it goes down two points. And now a three-point Dallas lead. And with good length and athleticism, Doncic not only gets to the rim, but boy, can he finish. Here's Peyton going inside, lays it up and banks it in. Peyton's got 14 points now in the second half. 
they should continue to get the ball inside. The defense struggling to contain them. We've gone about a minute and a half into the fourth quarter. Donchich outside. Another three for Dallas. Three-pointers are killing them at this point. And they haven't been able to respond at the other end. Kemp can't hit. Dallas leading by four. To the inside, Pauly Stein. Oh, he blocked it and deflects off the backboard. Here's Peyton driving the lane. Up and in Harry on the way. Peyton. Peyton's got four points in the quarter. Those defenders just look a little bit gassed. I mean, they're getting pushed around on that low block. Doncic dishes to Powell. Crawley Stein kicks to Powell. Pass to Hardaway. To the paint. Here's Burke. Yes, and it's Hardaway picking up the assist. Hardaway has got his fifth assist in this one. And the D not really doing its job there. A little slow to react to the ball getting into the paint. Here's McMillan. Back to O'Neal. Here's Richards. Over Hardaway. Here's Kemp. And the rebound paying off as they pick up two on the second chance bucket right there. And they're beginning to just flat out fall apart defensively right now. Especially on the interior. Oh, that's blocked. O'Neal against Hardaway. Peyton outside to take the lead. It's rebounded by Doncic. Doncic has got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. On the Mavericks with some changes. Maxi Kleba comes in for Willie Collins Stein. And Dorian Finney-Smith subbed in for Burke. Doncic passes to Kleba. Pass to Hardaway. From past the arc. He can't get it to go. Seattle goes the other way with it to tie it up and Peyton gets Gary it to go Peyton. on the assist by Kemp Kemp's got his third assist on the night and the Mavericks I call time here to ladies and gentlemen your Mavericks dance team Catch up with our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. Hi, Kevin. Well, Jason Kidd going over the plan with his team for the last few minutes. He said, I love how we're shooting the basketball. You guys have been locked in from three. Just keep taking makeable shots. If you don't have it, pass it to the guy who does. Kevin? All right, David, thanks. Now here is Hardaway. Out to the right wing. Here's Finney Smith. And it's good assisting on the play with Hardaway. And the Mavericks lead by three. Yeah, coming down the stretch, they've become reliant upon their perimeter game. You know, when you're raining threes, you can it's stack Richard. up points in a hurry. But it can go the other way as well. Richard's gone five of eight from the field, shooting over 60%. On Jig's outside, that's the three fly. Another three for Dallas. And you can just see his confidence is rising. Bucket after bucket from long range. McMillan passes to Richards. Peyton outside to the wing on the left. Here's Kemp. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. That's his four It's on Luka Doncic. And a chance for just a second now to check out the scoring breakdown for Dallas. They've turned in a fantastic performance from three-point range. That's been a weapon for them all game. And you've always heard of guys being in a zone shooting. But you can be in a zone passing for the basketball. And we've seen that tonight as well. How many times have we seen a possession like that from them today? Ending with a basket coming off a pretty pass. Shot is good. And the Mavericks lead is cut back down to three points with the bucket from Gary Payton. Doncic against McMillan. It's off the step back. 
And the Mavericks getting another bucket right there. And you can just see the confidence level growing with each shot that he's made. That's now 5-5 five and five here in the fourth. Count that one. And that's about the worst defense I can imagine a team playing coming down the stretch. And I love the play call. This is where you get the ball into the hands of your closers, where they can do something with it. The free production. It's hauled in by the Sonics. Kemp's got 15 rebounds here tonight. Doncic against McMillan. Doncic with the block. And good instincts from Doncic. His coaches and teammates love when he's in hustle mode and gets those blocks. Here's Finney Smith. Kleba with the bucket. And the Mavericks lead by five. This is who you want leading that play. A sure passer with great awareness. Here's Peyton. Here's Richards. Makes that one his six of the night. Shooting a very healthy six for nine. And the second chance points aren't easy to come back. It's all about effort and hard work. And he has today made it look easy. That's a carryover from the way he played in their last game. All out energy plays on his way to a huge performance. Oh, that's good. He's just adept at gutting the defense in these sets. Give Doncic a passing lane, and he'll thread the needle. Outside camp. Now the pass to Richards. Some nice ball movement here by Seattle. McMillan against Doncic. Second shot opportunity. Shot is good, and the Mavericks lead is cut down now to just three on the bucket from McMillan. And they've shown a little extra hustle on the offensive glass here in the second half. Second chance points are starting to add up for them, and they can use every one of them. Now here's Paul. Doncic outside. Outside Hardaway. Five to shoot. Dallas needs to get off a shot. Oh. Misses off the left iron. It's amazing. All night he's been out of sync on the offensive end, yet they continue to lead. And here in the fourth, he's carrying this team right now. Five of seven from the field. And the Mavericks call time here. present our New Balance Player of the Game, Luka Doncic. And Kevin, it's a no-brainer. He's controlled every aspect of this game. and It's just so fun to see a player perform at a level that's just higher than anyone else out on the floor. Kleba, the pass to Doncic. Is a three. No good. Seattle goes the other way with it. To take the lead, he lays it in. And the Sonics lead by one. There is just no way to tell who is going to pull this one out. When you've had this many lead changes, you're looking to see which one of those plays is going to be a momentum swing. Got that one up quick. Doncic has got 37. How about the poise from Doncic right there? He, he ups the ante when it's a critical possession here in the game. They get it back. Kemp passes it to Richards. And so the ball's out of bounds. Powell touched it last. Oh, you love the pressure he's putting on them. Almost had that steal. Fantastic anticipation. He has active hands. Even though he doesn't come away with the turnover, he's disrupting their offensive flow. Peyton's shot is off. 122 left in the game. Over in the corner, Doncic. Gets the 14-footer to fall. Doncic has got 39. Incredible. Doncic decides he wants to take over it, and that's his personnel. He comes up with the goods on that one. A team Hardaway passes to Finney Smith. And here is Doncic. 
Passes it to Hardaway. Weaver with it. He's covered by Kemp. Four on the clock. Stachich finds Hardaway. Oh, good from 11 feet. There's 39 seconds left in the fourth quarter. McMillan passes to O'Neal. Here's Peyton. Launches it. It doesn't go for him. Away team foul. Nate McMillan. That's his first personal foul. Fourth team foul. At the line to Dallas. Luka. He hits the first one, and that gives him a four-point cushion. And so he drops them both. It's a five-point game. Tremendous showing of confidence by getting those two to fall. They got to take the first good shot they can find. Oh, and even if they make it, they need an immediate five. No matter who catches the ball, they drops the first one, and that increases their lead to six. Luka at the line for two. So he gets them both, and it's a seven-point game. Productive trip to the line extended their lead. Here's McMillan. Seattle missing again. Doncic against Peyton. Doncic outside. And so it's Dallas winning this one. Probably a little closer than they would have liked it, but a win nonetheless. Yeah, but I really got a sense that the fans gave them that emotional boost that was needed down the stretch. This crowd, man, they were electric. And that'll wrap it up, folks. For Greg Anthony, Steve Smith, and David Aldridge, this is... doing